a bullseye on the very latest thing in shooting galleries. I'm firing not bullets, but a laser beam. When I pull the trigger, it's the needle-thin beam of very intense light that does the damage. Nothing to hear, nothing to see, except the destruction down at the other end of the gallery. This is a Meccano model of the schoolboy's dream of a death ray laser gun. But real life developments of this idea with greater power and greater range are still very secret. But the possibilities on the battlefield are obvious. Twenty-one years of highly secret work here have led up to the development of lasers like this one, which can penetrate even a fire brick and make short work of a block of wood. But this invention in search of a use needn't be destructive only, and work proceeds on peaceful uses for this new tool. For example, a navigation system for ships using a ring laser as a sort of gyroscope. There are still snags in the idea, but this center of laser activity will doubtless iron them out. Aircraft altimeters using gallium arsenide lasers have been successfully tested. They are very precise up to a thousand feet, but suffer in bad visibility. The same idea works well horizontally as a high precision range finder. The narrow laser beam can peer between obstacles to get an accurate fix on a distant target. Amid the electronic gadgetry, an effort's going on to improve the new materials being used. Here, scientists must consider the atom and the spaces between atoms to produce better electronic substances. It looks and it sounds fantastic, and tomorrow's electronic marvels are germinating here. This is BBC Television. This is William. Let me take my love to me. Put on the telly. 